Alright guys, what's up? Um Xavier here again. Uh I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install EPM V one point four today. So what you want to do is you want to first check the links in the description. So the first link will get you to this um page on gd4mod.com. This will have loads of cars to install EPM on them on them. Um, the second link will give, bring you to EPM V1.4 by Triplet. Of course, you will also need to download that. The third link, Hazard X GD4 Dynamics Script Hook. And of course, the fourth link, GD4 A Side Loader by Alexander Blade. You can also use X Lifeless. And I think there's another A Side Loader. It doesn't really matter which one you use, uh, the only important part is that you have one. So, alright, so then you should have three files from EPM v1.4, the move doors, move doors.ini, and the move doors.net.dll. Um, you should have a car and also the README from the car. And you should have the side loader and the script hook. Um, so, let's get started with the script hook.net. Let's go to the main folder. And you should have three files in it: scripts folder, scripthook.dll, and scripthook.net. Um, the scripts folder and the scripthook.net, you can just drop them in there; they will work on every patch. But the scripthook.dll, I think uh, it will only work on patch the latest patch, which is 1.0.7. Um, if you're using it on patch four, it will crash your game. So I advise you like get another. I will try to put the link in the description for the for the script hook .dll on patch four. Um. Then the a side loader, just drop it in there. The d sound .dll file, just drop it in there. I already have it in there. That's why I'm not gonna do it. All right. Then you're gonna open the scripts folder, and you're gonna put the three files, the move doors, the move doors are in, and the move doors are not .dll in there. Um, then you're gonna install the car. So, Alright. Rebuild and save. Okay, so after you install the car, you want to open the README of the car. You want to go back to the scripts folder and you want to open the move doors any these lines are all from cars with EPM enabled um, Smokey and Triplet were so nice to put already put some cars in the in the f in in the move doors any so we don't have to do it so when you download the car make sure it's not in here alright Okay, so when you go to the README, you want to scroll all the way down, like so where the guy put it, and there should be a line with starting with X's in the front. In the front, so if the, if you do not have this line in the README, this means the car is not EPM enabled or the guy who made the mod forgot it. You want to just copy it. You want to go all the way down. And you want to paste it in there. And now we should be ready to go to game. Okay, so after you get in the car, um, you want to press 8 with numpad enabled. And there should be a number in the left corner. You want to write that number down 
on a piece of paper. Um, these numbers can be positive and negative, so don't forget the minus if there is one. Quickly gonna m write mine down. Three and five. All right, and now we are ready to go back to desktop okay yeah so after you get the hash number you wanna go back to gd4 main folder go to the script folder go to move.ini and you wanna go back to the line like from epm we put in you want to delete the x in front of it and in replace we're gonna put in the number we got from the game Four one. 418 Gonna save it. Uh, if you want to change the buttons from the manual and auto keys, you can do that in the move doors. Uh, there's a whole list of keys, just choose one of the keys you like. And now we can go back to game. Okay, so when you're back in game, um, you can choose between man manual or auto. So when you press home, it should be manual, and when you press N, it should be auto. So when you pr when you have manual enabled, you can press I to open the spoiler, and K to let it go down again. And when you press auto, after a while, like, after you reach a certain speed, the, um, the spoiler should, or the other uh, movable part should come out, like you can see. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it on how to install EPM V1.6, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe for more tutorials and more videos. And I will see you guys later.